Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today work continues on this Stern NBA uh, pinball machine. Um, you can see here I have a, a, a brand new power driver board and I also have a power driver board in the game. And I want to go over um, where I'm at and how I've managed to figure out how to solve all the problems and get the game working 100%. If you've been following this series of videos, I've been systematically going through this game, um, getting everything completely working, and everything was working fine except for the right slingshot, which, um, you know, like you need to see right slingshot, it's right there. Um, it, was, it was not working, and we traced it to uh, Q18, and then there's a pre-driver transistor. So I pulled this board and I tested the board on my bench with the uh, transistor in circuit, and it tested okay. So I was kind of worried. Let me explain to you why I was worried. Because on this particular game with the Stern SAM system, there's a combination of through hole and surface mount chips. So uh, the uh, driver transistor that handles the right slingshot, it's this right here. Now you will see this is a different color because I actually replaced that transistor. This is a tip 122. You'll see they're all the same. This is the one I replaced. This is the main driver. The pre-driver is right up here at U6. That is a surface mount. I think it's a DIP20, a 20-pin surface mount chip that is not fun to have to mess with. So um, I was not sure what was going to fix this game. I pulled the board off and I checked it on the bench, and the, this Q18 tested good. So I thought, oh, that's not a good sign. That means it could be the pre-driver that's out, or the pre-driver and the post-driver. Um, so what did I do? I took the easy way out, and, I, and um, I did a little bit of research and realized that these driver boards for the SAM system are very difficult to get right now. They're very hard to get. There's very few places that have them. So I found a place that had them, pinballlife.com, and it was a little bit less than what everybody else had them listed for that was sold out. So I thought, you know what, I got one or two games that use this architecture. I need to have an extra power driver board. So it was worth 470 bucks. So I bought another brand new power driver board. So I have, I have this guy right here. This is a brand new, this is a Stern, it says Revision D, whereas the one in the game is Revision A. So this is a slightly updated version. So I, I needed some kind of a baseline to test it. This to me, you know, if, you've, if, if, if you're dabbling with pinball, you can't really be that poor, um, or at least, I don't know, that's my excuse. Um, I, occasionally I can spend a little bit of money and I'll get one of these. So I got this, this board, and this is never gonna depreciate in value. I can sell this for what I paid for it, probably at any time. So it was a good, it was a good purchase. So I paid 475, 70 bucks for this, got this in, swapped it into the game, and of course, the right slingshot started working perfectly. So I knew there was a problem on the driver board. I kind of, we surmised that from following the schematics that everything was working once I replaced the coil. So it had to be the driver or the pre-driver. Question is, was it the driver or the pre-driver? I just didn't know, but when I tested the board, the driver transistor tested good in circuit. I was reminded you know, when in doubt, pull it out. Um, that's kind of what people say, and they were totally right. So I thought, okay, with this board in the game and it running perfectly, I pulled that board out, put it on the bench. Now, um, I, if, I, I, if I had the right tools to do some testing on the surface mount stuff, I could have possibly confirmed that the driver transistor was bad, but I figured it out by the process of elimination anyway. So um, with, the, with, the, with the brand new board in the game and the game playing 100%, I pulled this board off and I replaced Q18. That's the driver transistor. And as you can see, it's the odd looking silver tip 122 transistor. Now I was not at all confident this was gonna fix the problem because when I tested the board, it tested okay in the circuit. Um, and I was worried that it was the pre-driver that got blown, and that's where you need special tools and techniques to be able to fiddle with these tiny chips 
I was not looking forward to that. Luckily, I did not have to do that. I said, okay, I'm going to replace this one because I can. And I replaced this, put it in, and bam. The right slingshot is now working and the game is 100%. So, what have we learned from this? We have learned that if a coil shorts on these Stern SAM systems, um, they will take out the main driver transistor and you can test that driver transistor in circuit and it tests okay. So that's not necessarily a guarantee. These things are not bad. So I have learned something about the SAM system. Don't take for granted if you test this on the board and it tests good that it is still good. Pull it out and um, replace it. I didn't have to mess with any of the surface mount stuff and we are good to go. So here's the old there's the old transistor that I pulled that was bad. So uh, there you have it. I will say something. Um, the Stern SAM boards, they are not fun to work on. I don't know what solder they used or what assembly, but I've been doing this for a while. I've got good tools now. I know how to desolder this stuff properly so that I don't fuck up traces and shit like that. And just removing that one transistor was a huge pain in the butt. Much, much more difficult than working on any Bally Williams game. Um, I could replace Bally Williams stuff all day now in my sleep with no trouble. These things, I, the solder they're using must have a much higher melting point, probably because there's no lead in it because of the ROHS compliance or something. But it was a real pain in the butt removing desoldering and I had a Hako 808 desoldering gun and I still couldn't get that solder to melt properly. I had to mix regular solder with it and reconstitute it before I could even begin to do it. And then I had to cut the transistor off and fiddle with it. And even then I blew one of the traces on the back side of the board. So the traces on this board are very, very delicate, even for the through hole components. So um, it is a, it's not a fun board to work on, even though they have serviceable components. So I will tell you, if you do end up needing to do some work, and I've heard rumors, you know, that when people go to replace these trans, these uh, capacitors, the electrolytic cap caps, which will probably need replacement soon, um, there's probably going to be through holes and traces that you can easily blow on them. There's something about the solder that they're using on this board. It just does not remelt easily when you're trying to desolder it. So I'm, um, I don't know if there's a trick. If there is a trick, um, leave it in the comments and let me know. But this was one of the hardest boards that I ever had uh, to simply desolder a simple component. There's something about them. The traces blow off very easily, and um, the solder is very hard to, to melt. So uh, that's, that's something to be wary of. Um, the older components were much easier to work on. But we've got it working. The game is now 100%. And um, so what we've learned is when you're working on these SAM systems, uh, uh, a driver transistor can blow, and you can test it in circuit, and it's still perfectly okay. So do not assume that. So we're back. I've got the, the original board back in there, and the game is playing great. And uh, there we go. We, ha we have knocked another one on the done list. Poof, it's done. And um, I hope you've seen the uh, video where I do the rule set and talk about everything as a pinball showcase on um, NBA, Stern NBA. Um, be sure to check out this really rare game. It's tremendously fun to play. And uh, as always, visit Pinball Help, and be sure to subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.